Uh, I have always collected autographs since I was a kid. Always thought it was interesting. But the passion was always baseball. I mean, going to, uh, I'll date myself, <laughs> uh, going to Connie Mack Stadium in Philadelphia with my dad and seeing the Phillies of the 60s and uh, just in awe of it all. And, you know, never, always a baseball fan, but never thought any more about collecting. I just stumbled upon a book that listed all the best baseball players that ever played and their addresses and thought, gosh, do you think any of them would even write to me? And of course I always had a passion for the vintage stuff, mm -hmm. never the current stuff, as you'll see in there. <laughs> There's nothing within 30 years in there. But so I, I ordered this book and I went through, it's alphabetical, but uh, the first categorization is their debut year. And this was 1995. Okay. And I wondered if there's anybody still alive that debuted prior to 1930. I figured I'll take a, a shot here figuring there's not. There were 32 that were still alive, prior, including one from 1908 who was still alive. Or 19, 19, 12, something like that. Anyway, he was like 105, 106 years old. And I thought, oh my gosh. So I wrote them all letters. And I think all but two wrote back. And some really detailed, nice, long letters. And some said photos. And I'm like, oh my gosh. This, this is like getting free stuff in the mail. I mean, it, it was just reading the letters was like, it took you back in time. It brought you back, you know, 60, 70 years. And uh, I was hooked. So uh, some of the... The letters that I got back were incredible. Some were eye-opening. Some were very, many were very disparaging of the current state of the game. Uh, some blame owners, some blame salaries, some blame the designated hitter, you know, you name it.